Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at how to recover a deleted branch in Git. We've got visual Git running here as well, down the bottom here, um, so we can see the internals of our repo, which gives us a better understanding of, of what is happening when we do that delete, and then also the process of, of returning that branch to life. Um, so let's jump in. I'm just going to create a simple file here into our repo. Um, let's create a file one there, add it in, and we'll just say um, initial on that. And we should see that appear down here in Visual Git for us. We've got, yep, we've got a main branch. We've got our initial commit and file1.txt. All right, let's create a branch that we can delete in a moment. Um, so let's do git checkout uh, minus b feature branch. Sounds good. We should see that appear down here as well. All right, so our head is now pointing to feature, and we'll add a file into this as well. Let's do um, feature.txt, add that, and commit as feature. And so we should see this file now get a commit created. There we go. And on our branch, okay. And you can see that these are in the working area and the staging area, both files there. Okay, let's go back to main now. Um, so let's check out main. Uh, and now we're going to delete the feature branch. So we'll do git branch minus d feature. So this branch here now will go. And there'll be no, no nothing pointing to this commit which will mean it, it will probably get cleaned up with garbage collection. And so we would lose that data potentially in 90 days or so. Um, so let's do that delete. We'll watch this disappear. And then we'll see, right, now potentially how do we get back to this? Well, one of the ways we can do it is to use the ref log. Um, if I do a git ref log here, I can see the commit where we created our feature.txt file. This one here, commit feature, and it's got the um, the hash here, the B5F4, which we can see on our commit down here, B5F4. So I can check that commit out. Uh, we go into detached head state, but I can get the head pointing to it, um, and we should see the feature.txt file then appear back in our staging area and working area. So if I do a git checkout, was it B5F4? So it says we're in the detached head. And we'll see that down here. Our head is now no longer pointing to any branch. It's pointing directly to a commit. Um, but in our staging area, we've got feature.txt again. If I look in here, oops, if I look here, you can see, yeah, we've got feature.txt and file1.txt. And that's what the staging area and working area show. We've got both files. So we're pointing correct. We still haven't got the branch there, though. But now, now that our head pointer is pointing to this feature, if I just create a branch, so let's do um, git branch feature, that will now point to where our head is pointing to. So we've got a feature branch. Let me get this out of the way a bit. Um, and we've got head all pointing to this commit. It's not great because we're still detached, but we can now just check out the feature branch that we created. So I can do git checkout feature. That will mean our head now points to feature when it updates here. So there we go. So we're no longer in a detached state. We've got the feature branch created we're back to our commit. That data is no longer to get lost. And we're safe now to carry on um, and so I could now happily check out main again with the knowledge that I can always go back to the feature branch um, in the future. So there we are, back on main. All good. Um, so there you go, just a quick one on recovering a branch using the ref log. You can look up the, uh, the hash commit, check out that hash, um, create the branch, and then check out that branch and you're back to where you were. Hope that was interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. Thanks for watching though. Catch you next time.